Hey there guys, what's happening? YouTube just wanted to uh, show a little bit of gameplay as well as uh, talk about this game called Tapper. Now, uh, I remember playing this game as a kid. I used to go to Yogi Bear Campground in Wisconsin Dells and they had a little rec room with pool tables and video games. And I remember they always had this game in there. Um, and I think this game is really interesting. I think it's really kind of funny that, you know, Budweiser was uh, essentially allowed to advertise in a video game. You know, today would, people would say, oh, you're, you're marketing alcohol to kids. That's terrible. Uh, but it actually was a really fun game. I think it was probably more intended for bars than it was for kids to play. Uh, but really kind of fun game. Kind of reminds me of a lot of modern app games just because it's very simplistic and very repetitive. Uh, this game comes to us from Midway Games. It uh, was created back in 1983. Uh, horizontal gameplay. It was color. Uh, it was two players, but not at the same time. And the actual cabinet of this game was really, really cool. It kind of looked like a bar. And a lot of the games actually had, uh, you know how bars have that kind of brass rail across uh, where, your foot re where your feet rest? Uh, a lot of these games actually had that on there, so it kind of simulated a bar. A uh, description of the game, Tapper was produced by Bally Midway in 1983. Uh, Belly Midway released 94 different machines uh, under this trade name starting in 1980. And other machines by Belly Midway during the period Tapper was produced include Final Shot, uh, Pink Floyd The Wall, Domino Man, Grand Slam, uh, Earth Friend, Satan's Holloway, Baby Pac-Man, Chromit's Cruiser, and Blueprint. Uh, in this game, you are a bartender serving Budweiser to patrons. You must serve everyone a beer before they work their way up to the kegs. Uh, you must also grab empty beer mugs before they slide off the end of the bar. Uh, you get extra points if you run down to the end of the bar and collect tips from pat patrons. And during the bonus round, which you'll see, uh, it involves uh, essentially kind of like a shell game where you have to locate the one beer that hasn't been shaken and isn't going to blow up in your face. Uh, the cabinet was really, really kind of cool. Like I said, it resembled a bar, and there was a brass rail that runs along the bottom and two brass drink or ashtray holders on each side of the control panel. Uh, the cabinet and gameplay on the beer version of the Budweiser's logo. Uh, the pour spouts have Budweiser handles to resemble the actual pour spouts in real bars. Um, and one of the cheats, uh, by holding that down the joystick and both tappers and pressing both start buttons on the title screen, it will reveal the credit screen in both tapper and root beer tapper. Um, there's four different levels, uh, cowboys, athletes, punk rockers, and aliens. And this was a, a really, really fun game. Um, Really, really kind of interesting game, and I think we'll probably never see a game like this again. Uh, but that's that's really all. Just kind of wanted to give you guys a little background and history of the game, and wanted to show you guys some of the gameplay. And this game quickly gets pretty difficult. Um, you know, as you'll see here, I think we're about to die in a second here. Uh, but hopefully, you enjoyed watching this game. If uh, if you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button below, and uh, we'll check you guys out on the next video.